The Wacker Trainer was a basic aircraft designed to fulfill the RAAF requirement for an ab initio trainer. It had become the first aircraft designed by the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation and the first Australian design to enter mass production. The CAC Wackett trainer was designed by Lawrence Wackett to meet RAAF specification number 338. Issued in June 1938, the specification required a basic trainer that was designed and produced in Australia. In October of that year, CAC submitted their proposal, which was accepted and two prototypes were ordered. By April 1939, the fuselage of a wooden mock-up of the CA-2 was completed. However, the building of both prototypes was delayed as construction of the CAC factory at Fisherman's Bend was still being finished. The first prototype took to the air on the 19th of September 1939 and was powered by the de Havilland Gypsy Major 130 horsepower engine, which was part of the original specification. The design had fabric covered, steel tube fuselage and wings and a tailplane that was constructed of plywood. Delays were encountered when the Gypsy Major engine proved to have inadequate performance and thus the engines were changed to the Gypsy 6 engine. The second prototype with the new engine took to the skies for the first time in November 1939. The new engine did improve most areas of flight but was too heavy and still not suitable. Furthermore, de Havilland had advised CAC that they could not supply CAC with Gypsy engines due to wartime demand from Britain. The decision was then made to install a Warner Scarab engine to both prototypes. Throughout the mid-1940s, flight trials with the Royal Australian Air Force was carried out. In the meantime, the RAAF ordered large numbers of de Havilland DH-82 Tiger Moths. Eventually, in mid-1940, the RAAF ordered 200 production Wacket trainers designated CA-6. Delays with production occurred when there became a shortage of engines and propellers, and preferences were given to build wheelways. The Wacket trainer finally entered service with the RAAF in March of 1941. Early production versions were assigned to number one elementary flying training school at Essendon for pilot training. However, after this, majority of the aircraft were supplied to wireless air gunner schools throughout Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland. Production of the Wacket trainer finished in April 1942, with 202 aircraft being built, including the two prototypes. With an improving war situation and a lessening demand on training, by August 1944, the Wacker Trainer was virtually retired with many being put into storage. Although the Wacker Trainer wouldn't be formally retired from Royal Australian Air Force Service until 1944, RAAF station Narrow Mine in central New South Wales became a Wacker storage facility while these aircraft waited disposal until its closure sometime at the start of 1944. The aircraft were then moved to 8 Elementary Flying Training School in Narrandera, New South Wales. With the war's end in September 1945, the remaining 134 Wacket trainers were released through the Commonwealth Disposals Commission for civil sale. John T. Brown bought 91 of these aircraft and all the RAAS spare holdings as he was reforming Kingsford Smith Air Service into Kingsford Smith Aviation Service Proprietary Limited at Mascot Airdrome. In 1944, the Royal Netherlands East Indies Army Air Force had tried to buy 20 Wacker trainers off the Australian government. However, after being approved, the Australian government cancelled the order in October 1945 as they refused to supply equipment that the Dutch could use against the Republic of Indonesia. The Indonesian National Revolution started in August 1945 and was an armed conflict between Indonesia and the Netherlands. Nonetheless, this did not stop the Dutch from getting the trainers. By January 1946, they had finalised the deal with J.T. Brown to acquire 50 Wacket trainers off him. The aircraft arrived crated in Batavia, current day Jakarta, in March of 1947 and operated as elementary trainers. They have said to be besetted with technical difficulties. In 1949, Indonesia won its independence and the Wacket trainers were handed over to the Indonesian Air Force. It is unsure though what happened to these aircrafts in the hands of the Indonesian Air Force. Some sources claim that sections of a Wacker trainer were used around 1952-53 in a project to construct the Indonesian-designed 
a new 200 Sikkimbang. Back in Australia, the remaining aircraft in the Kingsford Smith Aviation Services inventory would spend much of their time in storage and for the next 15 years they would become the Wackett Specialists. Kingsford Smith Aviation Services also had a flying school under the name of Kingsford Smith Flying Services that mainly operated Osters but also occasionally used Wackets. On the 14th of January 1962, James Knight disappeared while flying his Wacket from Sejuna, South Australia to Cook, South Australia. This was part of a much bigger trip from Melbourne to Perth. A search was conducted over the next 19 days with 18 aircraft being used. Unfortunately, the plane was never discovered. It wouldn't be until three years later that the aircraft was found 200 miles north of Cook. It was discovered that on the side of the fuselage, Knight had inscribed a diary with the last diary entry appearing on January 20th, 1962. It is believed after this day, he gave up on help finding him and walked off looking for help. In 1977, the aircraft was recovered and in 1981, the restoration process was finished. It is currently on display at the Central Australian Aviation Museum in Alice Springs. A total of 43 wackets came on the Australian Civil Registry. A highly modified crop spraying version also appeared as the Yeoman YA-1 Cropmaster with metal wings and a 250 horsepower Continental engine. It had a limited production run between 1964 and 1966. The Wacket trainer was a simple and basic aircraft. There was nothing special about it. However, it will hold a special place as the first Australian design to enter mass production and the first design by the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Wacket trainer. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as hit that like button. And if you have any comments on this aircraft, make sure to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back here soon.